Yeah, she's coming down my tree branch now. This is scary. I do not know how this snake is going to behave. Very intimidating. Woo! I want to get my hand on this thing. I'm Jack Randall. Oh, bum! See that? That was crazy cool. I'm finding every animal on the planet. Whoa. I'm in the wild. I think it's down here. Oh, please. Up close and personal. And a massive snake! OK, there's a scorpion on my arm. This is just remarkable. Look at that. Reticulated bifin in the water. Come on, let's go. The rainforest is home to lots of snakes. There's one type of snake that is highly abundant, the pit viper. But I'm after a truly special one today. The pit vipers are obviously perfectly evolved for living in these rainforests. They're sitting wait predators waiting for warm-blooded prey to come along. There's one species that seems to be quite common around here, and that's the waggler's pit viper. It's the female waggler's pit viper that I really want to see. The very first pit viper I met in Asia was the waggler's pit viper. Super cool looking snakes. They lie in wait in the mid canopy layer. That's exactly how I found my first one. Yeah, pit viper right here. Look at that. They got really, really quick strikes and it can sense my body heat. This Wagglers was a male. I know that because it's bright green. The remarkable thing is, female Wagglers look completely different to the males. Much, much bigger and totally different colorations. The big female is still on my list. I haven't yet managed to find that female to see how they compare and work out why they look so different. So now I'm back in the same location on that search of a female Waggler's Pit Viper. this time, they might be starting to get active because I can start hearing the frogs. So well camouflaged though, I'm just looking at every single branch, I have to look very, very carefully. Oh, look at that, wow! Jeez, look at the size of that. Looks like a python. It's not a python. That is an absolute monster of a Waggler's Pit Viper. That's a female, that's a female coloration. That's absolutely huge. Woo! The angle ahead. Going up that tree. See if I can get this Pit Viper down this tree. There's no escape route, so you need to find the right twig. Okay, I've pretty much got a whole tree to get this snake out. Oh, there. This is scary. I do not know how this snake is going to behave as I get her out of the tree. Come on, on, on the branch, please. Ah. Well, I just need to tease her off because that Prianta tail is extremely strong and she can really tighten up her grip on that. She's coming down my tree branch now. This is perfect. Woohoo! Okay, pit viper. Yes. Okay, we've now got time to have a look at this snake. Look at that. That is huge. You can see how big that mouth is and the venom glands. I imagine a snake like this has huge amounts of venom. Almost certainly, if this snake bit me, I would lose a finger. Or worse, if it bit me on the face. It'd be so bad news. I don't even know what would happen. And look at that. I'm definitely within strike range, 100%. But this snake is super, super calm. Face to face with a female Waggler's Pit Viper. Very intimidating. But the amazing thing about this snake is, look at that tail, really strong. It's almost like a python. They've got those huge pits, massive pits. 
And what's even more remarkable is that this is the same species of the other snake I saw, the Wagner's Pit Viper. Woo, look at him. I can't believe the colorations, those white spots and those bands. It totally is unique. Very, very different coloration to the, to the males. It is exact example of what you would call sexual dimorphism. The difference between a female and male looking very, very different. Always heard about the female Waggler's Pit Viper with this amazing coloration. And wow, it does not disappoint. This snake looks absolutely stunning. It's built like an absolute tank. Look at the size of that head. It's huge in comparison. I would say four or five times the size of the males. It really is massive. I'd love to see and get a bit closer. It's a bit nerve wracking because I don't like being on the ground. So what I'm gonna do is rest a snake between two rocks so it feels like it's still on, still on something, still on the tree. Every time I see a snake like this, a new one, a new species for myself, I'm observing their behavior. I'm watching to see how they're different to every other individual that I come across. And it really is quite amazing how these pit vipers are so calm. And I reckon the reason being is because there is very little out in the rainforest that would take on a pit viper. They can strike about a third to maybe even two thirds their body. Because they can lunge and use that tail to be able to give them a perching point, they can actually get more distance in that strike than a normal snake on the ground would. So you have to be very careful. And they wait in that S position for prey to come along. That makes them extremely good predators, specifically for animals that are flying because they're up in the air. But I'm gonna get closer to that tail because I really wanna, I wanna get my hand on this snake. So it's not like handling a lapid like you might with in Australia, where they're used to being on the ground. These guys are not used to being on the ground. And so when they get onto a branch like this, they move and they actually get back above their own body. So it's scary, just like that. So they can get into strike range super quick. But this is one of those experiences that I just cannot let go by me because it really does test your limit. It makes you understand the behavior of a snake like this and really get to really understand it and actually respect the snake. They're not out there just to bite you. Look at this. I've got a big female Waggler's Pit Viper on my snake hook. I've got my hand on the end of its tail. She's just poised there, just like she would be on a branch. Do not expect that these snakes are out there to kill you. It's scary, but really, they're not there to be scary. They're actually just evolved to be absolutely brilliant machines at getting their prey. She doesn't see me as prey, and for that reason, isn't attacking me, isn't striking out. That is worthy of respect. The female's Waggers Pit Viper, yes, let's release her back on the branch so she can go off hunting. Off you go, girl. Back to your hunting position up that tree. Look at that. I'm definitely in strike range now, but now we've had some time together, I trust her. Waggler's Pit Viper, yes. What a draw-dropping, beautiful snake. A supermodel. If I were a male Waggler's Pit Viper, I'd certainly be intimidated by her. It doesn't surprise me she's so calm. Nothing in the rainforest wants to mess with her. Why she looks so different to the boys, I'm still not quite sure. Certainly her larger size means she can carry more offspring. The colors? Maybe at this size, you just can't get away with being bright green. Whatever reasons are at work, it's making the female Waggler's Pit Viper the most stunning snake on our planet. Well, almost.